Can you juggle eggs? Yoshi can't. But he can throw them. Yoshi Story. Out now on Nintendo 64. Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So let's just talk a, a little bit about Yoshi Story. Now, as we all know, this is a bit of a classic, you know, at least for the N64 in 1998. And it's sort of a spiritual sequel to Yoshi's Island on the uh, Super Nintendo. Now, surprisingly enough, this game is actually really short. I kind of beat it within a day. Now, before I kind of get deep into the uh, review, shout out to my buddy Paul. He actually requested that I review this game, so yeah, my, my boy Paul, got me into this game. But anyway, let's just hop into the story real quick. So apparently this happy tree was sown by Baby Bowser. It spells put on Yoshi's Island. I'm, I'm assuming when they say Yoshi's Island, they mean like this island one from like the Super Nintendo game. I don't know. But then six new Yoshis were born and they have to get like the happy tree back. It, it, it's a bit of a weird story. And then you just sort of hop through different levels and you just go on with the story. Now, let's just talk about the game's art style for a second. Me personally, I am... I, I am not really into it. Seems like it seems like a game made for like a younger audience, I guess. Plus the setup music and the cutscenes are sort of annoying. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's an audience for this game, but it's just it's 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 not for me. Whenever I start the game up, I usually got to turn the volume way down on my TV because because the theme song is just kind of loud and annoying but anyway let's just hop into the gameplay surprisingly enough this game does something somewhat different of course you know it's a collector's time but instead of collecting coins and you know jigsaw puzzles you actually collect fruit and me personally i i don't really mind this something i guess different from the norm back then i said instead of collecting stars and coins or collecting jigsaw puzzles and music notes you're actually collecting different types of fruit and another mechanic that i really like about this game is the use of yoshi's tongue that sounds bad out of context but yeah you can actually platform with yoshi's tongue and that I find that weird, but it's actually somewhat useful. Well, instead of doing uh, backwards long jumps in Mario 64, you could just use Yoshi's tongue. Now, let's just talk about difficulty for a second. This game really has no difficulty here. I wouldn't say it's even difficult. It's just tedious at points. In the third level, we have to ride these string things. To jump on the back and ride them. The, the platform on that on that level specifically is, is bad. I've had a little bit of trouble on there myself, but... Hey, maybe I just suck. I don't know. And one other thing that I'd like to talk about is the game over scene or the death scene. This is fucking weird. Check it out. It's weird how that how that death scene is just radically different from like the childish cartoony style of the game. Like when you die in this game, it's it's just a whole different I guess vibe. But I guess the game is trying to do something very similar to uh, Benjo Kazooie. So like when you die or get a game over, you actually see you know two D get changed or whatever. So I guess I guess Yoshi sort of trying to do something similar to that. I don't know, but that death scene is just so weird. But I, I surprisingly like it. Now, another thing that I really like about this game is the different colored Yoshis. They don't really do anything. I still find it surprisingly enough charming and interesting. Like, you, you just pick your favorite colored Yoshi and just get going in the game. But overall, though, would I recommend Yoshi Story for the N64? Yes. It's a game that you could beat in 30 minutes, and it's just a kind of a, a chill game. Although, it could be annoying and tedious at, at points. The game kind of overdoes it with the childish style, but again, I'm assuming back in the day, this is meant for like a super younger audience, I guess. I don't know, but ladies and gentlemen, if you want to, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, nourish, and tell me down below. What's your favorite N64 game? Tell me down in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>